program. Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. I'm Akanksha Singh, pursuing B.Tech in Biotechnology from Amity University, Noida. And currently I have completed my research fellowship internship from Pine Biotech. And my research topic was exploring the tumor protection activity of vitamin C against hydroxyglutarate induced dysregulation in human breast cancer cells. So my research primarily concerns with the effect of 2-HG and A2P in breast cancer. 2-HG, which is 2-hydroxyglutarate, initiates cell level epigenome fluctuation in the chromatin regulatory landscape, which also accompanied by the loss of lineage fidelity. It also enhances cellular heterogeneity with undifferentiated stem-like epigenomic signatures. The findings suggest metabolic derangement as a molecular origin of breast cancer heterogeneity. It also enhances ca cancer plasticity, tumor cell evolution, suppresses DNA repair. Second, A2P, ascorbate 2 phosphate, which is kind of vitamin C. It eradicates heterogeneity and impairs 2 HG growth, helps in lineage fidelity. A2P inhibits cancer cell proliferation and also counteract adaptive evolution of breast cancer. Research statement. After reviewing various literature, I came up with the statement 2-HG as a key determinant of cancer plasticity and provide rational strategy to counteract tumor cell evolution. So I hypothesized these two points, which is by comparing the differential gene expression pattern of sample treated with tumor promoting agents against the gene expression pattern of sample treated with L2HG and vitamin C, which is kind of ascorbic acid. And second, a partial or complete reversal in gene expression patterns would ascertain the tumor pro protecting characteristics of vitamin C. The methodology that I followed for the analysis of my study is data extraction, quantile normalization, PCA, which is kind of exploratory analysis, SRA, and comparative analysis. In comparative analysis, DSEC pipeline was there, and DSEC pipeline further bifurcated into GSEA and enrichment analysis, through which we get the genes and the pathway that are involved in the breast cancer. So the first step of extracting data was done from the NCBI GEO dataset. The title of my dataset was Transcriptome Analysis Using RNA-Seq in Human Memory Epithelial Cell. The dataset has total of 18 samples. These samples further divided into six groups based on the treatment they are gone through. First and foremost analysis done on the study is PCA, that's an exploratory analysis. First I ran utilities pipeline on dbioinfo server which consists of quantile normalization and PCA. Two files with log scale normalization expression table and a PCA summary. First I filtered out the gene from expression table and gene left were 36141 out of 48670 genes. PCA plot was generated with no clear cluster among the groups. Volcano plot. The volcano plot basically performed under the two conditions that is the adjusted p value at y axis versus log to full chain value on x axis. This results in depicting significant differentially expressed genes. The blue area in the volcano plot represents the significant gene, whereas the red area represents significant differentially expressed genes. Genes which are having negative log to full chain value will be considered as down regulated gene, whereas positive log to full chain value to be considered as up regulated gene. In both the conditions here, the commonly expressed gene are A2ML1. Enriched pathway. 
the plot provides information about the function of gene which are highly activated due to upregulation of certain gene as well as the functions which are suppressed because of down regulation of some genes the circles in the network indicates the count or the number of gene present in the pathway get enriched pathway it provides information about various pathways that are either activated or suppressed due to the upregulation or downregulation of genes respectively the information of enrichment of gene in the area displayed on the basis of two parameters that is count that is number of gene involved and p adjusted value which is distribution of gene based on p adjusted value hence the pathway corresponding to the highest quantity of upregulated gene are highly activated while the pathways corresponding to the highest number of down regulation of gene are highly suppressed now the keck pathway further analyzed based on the genes and are further filtered based on the log to fold chain value from larger value to the smaller value more the value of log to fold chain more will be the involvement of tumor protecting function will be there common gene that were found in both the conditions are dehydrogenase or reductase 9 keratin 24 and phospholipase A2 group IVF or IVE unique pathways this analysis was done on jupiter ide of anaconda python server using merge function to view the unique pathways between the samples genes are filtered based on set size set size are basically gene involved in the particular pathway from larger value to the smaller value conclusion and future aspects of the study are gene with name as na are not mentioned and on further analysis with their ensemble ids on ncbi or other gene banks are not found and need to be discover function of these unknown ensemble ids second genes such as dehydrogenase keratin 24 phospholipase a2 group ivf are common genes that are found in both the conditions of l2hg in combination with l2hg as well as l2hg in combination with vitamin c these genes are indicative of novel genes at last all other genes are unique to its pathways and will act differently with different conditions these are some references that were used for this study thank you so much have a good day